I'm down. I'm dead. Right. I'm dead. Oh, the torture rack. Oh. oh. Good? You good? <laughs> well, good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. And then this one. Oh. Oh. That one's oh. good. Ooh. That's good. That got like four. It went. Yeah, right? the whole yeah. stretch. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that when you're good. Well, that's you're, you're going to fall through. Right here? It's getting popped to that, man. Yeah. And Twister would be on that. I swear we've gone through this compound 50 times, and so we can't take it unless we have a bite. So yeah, unless, they I mean, unless they spawned in some new sh I think we're we'll Well, yeah. this is different, because we're the same Martin team with rocks. That is true. Back, back of the long. Like, I'd be down to put something like here. And back then, like, of the long is South Hossie. Yeah. Not beyond the candy? No, beyond the candy. No more roosting. What about? Chinese rocks. You can drive under it. Take yeah. it. Yeah. Nine? From here. What do you take what thing? Chains. Okay, chains. Uh, right at the same time, right? We need to try to... Down a little bit. Oh, it's too hard. So it's right there. I have a pinched nerve. You think it's just a normal? I got pinched nerves. You see me bending over softer, like a little. Get me. He doesn't even go to the gym. Me. What are you saying? You're not you haven't been going to the gym. You didn't go today. You, you haven't been going. You woke up for a thing, bro. Pinched nerves. I'm gonna keep it real. Get me. Get me. I'm next. Bro, how about I just chop it in, into place? What is that? It's a chop. nerve, bro. It's just. How is the other close thing? The other close team? Yeah, they look west of us. West of Levenny. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. So between us and the Oaks Towers. And then Genji is southeast of us, and Navi is in the loop. Southeast of us? Genji is looking for Alchemist Split, southeast of us. Oh, oh I was thinking southwest, sorry. GNL? You know it's called mine? And there's no better and Cranic. All the yeah, yeah, yeah. apparently. E Arena? The arena is... They only have an old drop on this map, they don't even have a main. Oh no, they do have a main. Are they southeast? Uh, yeah. Trigger. Trigger. Okay, we're going Chuma. I'm down. It's actually... They're going San Martin. Wait, this is a good Picado plane. Make sure we keep the pack mentality. Like, we're trading. We're staying S3, do this S3, do this S4. You till with me. If you're, if three of us are throwing stuns and someone's yelling guns out, like, you know, let's try and clean that up a little bit. Let's make sure we do it before like, this situation comes up. The main thing with comms is like, when we're like late game, we're actually in fighting. Don't make a play until your teammates are doing it with you. It's yeah, cool. it's just impulsiveness again. Do we just have to run together, come, come with if your teammates, me? If your Every, teammates says, everything I'm gonna push together. this, say wait. Yeah. Hold on, wait, I'm coming with you. Just do everything together. From now on, from now on, hey, if you make some solo play and you don't bring a teammate with you, you gotta shower with your roommate. I want you guys to be hungry. I'm down to play for Circle 2. We're the best team here. Let's yeah, that prove was working, it. to be fair. In group hey, also, like, playing for Circle like, 2 oh, works. Oh, Let's go, dial in. Oh. What if I just grabbed the trophy and just walked out? is super low, yep. Batulin's low, and now Diffix with the sneak attack from behind. Batulin's is out of ammo. Lou is going to find Diffix, but so said the last player alive for Navi. Solo player trying to make a play happen in a 1v3 situation. As you said, Batulin's has literally got no bullets left in his AI. He's forced to play the mini. Example going for more. No helmet left for him to work with either, and 32 bullets to his name. Fortunately, plenty of loot still to work with for Batulin's on his mini, but now tanking loot trying get over the other side and that's going to be Lou with the final kill securing a win in match number two for Twisted Minds. It hey, if we have Cold Falls and the warehouse could have worked yeah, or would have worked. Yeah and that's what we did at uh, PGC and we won the game. Yeah so. On the bright side, the only four out of the top five teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the leader where you think going to happen other than, other than Twisted. Yeah, I'm gonna be more decisive. I'm not. Don't be afraid to say my name like H-Win. Yeah, I'll use the guns you see in your map. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I'm giving you the M249. I'll shoot you. Alright, Gonna try to flush out that kill, secure yeah. that point. Wanna get that point in as fast as they can. They will succeed in doing so. Ten kills now. Four new heavy as long scope peeks on over. Can't quite find the nug initially, but they will allow them to push further forward. Twisted minds dealt with swiftly.
lot of flashbangs to work with as well. So feeling comfortable in the util, but don't get too comfortable as Kingstar double headshots the Semper 12. And he gets another point Ooh. for the boys, and now Longskirk gets caught in no man's oh land. God. He ran out of ammo, still hasn't been able to get the revive onto Shrimzy as he is just protecting his fallen teammate. What, what's the play here, boys? You have the circle, oh, you have the dot. I think Longsker wants to... Uh, yes, okay, this angle is brutal. This is absolutely insane. Once he peeks on through, once the reset comes through, that should be Sonic's uh, yeah, taken yeah, down. Yeah, but it's a 2v3, shoot. we've seen crazier things many times before. I mean, Nan trying to get up close here. And, and they he does right? yes, do they so, yes, and now the smoke wall is gonna lay it down. They're gonna protect themselves a little bit here. They're gonna get in? Yeah, Shrimzy. And the rest of the team gonna get in here. Kickstart has the rock, or the they tree rather. Around. And New Happy kind of allowing yeah. Sonics to get back up to full strength and to get out of their poor position. I don't think New Happy thought Sonics was gonna commit to what is arguably the worst position in this play. They wanted to, like they doubled down the only on position, the Western really. exit. But because of that, they also eventually opened up the opportunity for Kickstart and Shrimsy to get to the other side. New Happy though still sat close together. Not gonna matter. Kickstart first one to fall. Longsco there with the trade goes for the second as well, but can't connect. Kickstart on his high horse right now gets another knock on a Ming Ming. See, Ming Ming on about bleed five is bleeding out. Nan has him dead to rights, but he can't finish him off. Kickstart staying alive as the flashbangs come through and now New Happy just gonna send it right at him. The flashbang gets him low, but it doesn't matter. Oh, New Happy with another victory. Wow, what a game. You can't just not have all the games, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we have to have bad games to just prove to ourselves, like, hey, we gotta make it a little them. hard. We're them, we can actually win this event no matter what. Yeah, we gotta make it a little harder ourselves. Yeah. Hey, we lose as a team, we win as a team. Yeah, bottom in the front door. Kicking her out. On this side, we know the right side. Yesterday we watched comms back, a lot of repetitive comms, and I was talking with Tig today. After I listened to it some more, you guys are just hearing each other, you're not listening to each other, so make sure we make a conscious effort to actually listen to what your teammates are saying, and it's not going one ear. One in one ear and out the other, please. A lot of these games, we're not closing games out, but we're, most of the time we're down in numbers. So, like, you know, for instance, the Rengel game, we have Tiggy that game, we win that game. Um, let's just focus on keeping four up and trading each other out. Um, we had some pretty rough games yesterday, and we're still at the top of the leaderboard in third place, so it goes to show the caliber of this team and the skill. So you guys should be happy about that. Dying f cars, we have the best players in the world on our team getting shot out of their cars half the f games we play. Like, we can't be having that. Talk about how do we win games, how do we lose games, all right? That's the most important thing, because we have not been closing out games recently. So those points are going to add up at the end, and we're going to go back, and we're going to look, and if we don't win, we're going to be like, f this game was probably a winnable game, this game was probably a winnable game, and then you take those points, add them up, and we would have won the tournament. So we don't want to put ourselves in that situation. So be more vocal about how to win, how to lose. We haven't really followed our rule about not talking after the games because we're really comfortable with how we've been playing. We've been playing like the best we've ever played up until this. So if we have a bad game one, let's shrug it off like uh, the Vikinia game where we we lost a 1v3. I was like, respect guns out. Like I was tilting Matt like there. That's an example of any of us can tilt each other, right? Yeah. So. All right, let's go. I told you 20 out of you today. It's about time Weibu to get those smokes. Weibo needs a knock and then make the play off of it. But how, oh how, are you going to find it when Sonix is doing nothing to allow you to get those shots in? They know at this point no one is playing Dragonovs because if so, they would have been peaking differently. Right. Now they know, like, one headshot come through, great, you go back into cover heal. I'll take your position, I'll peek for you. They're playing a very nice oh, Ragamore. Speaking, play of, and Dragonovs. speaking Dragonovs. of Dragonovs, while you don't have them on the side of Weibo, takes yours, Hell has one for himself. Find the second as well. Oh, just like that, it's down to one last member, Shen. What now can you push. do? Are you the superstar that can save the game? This is going to be so difficult if he can. If there's a man to do it, it would be Shen, but down to low HP not already. Even not going to happen. H1 takes him down, and that, my friends, is a solid win for the Sonics. With the fight on the northern side. Hello, Sonics PUBG fans, and welcome to Inside View, presented by ViewSonic.
Today we're going to be reviewing match 10, which is our Tego victory during PGS3. I think it's actually one of the best games that we played in a while. Uh, we played super aggressive, felt good pulling up on some people. So playing out of the compound, uh, we got pretty hard shifted off of it. was not the best zone for us. We knew the New Abbey was in front of us, and our initial plan was to kill them. So we teammated their car for it, got a knock, and then Shrimzy and H1 actually realized in that moment that the best play was for us to sweep the east side. So we kind of wrapped up, packed up our things, instantly ran back to the compound, got in our cars, and got ready to sweep out. Shrimzy being an absolute demon, just two tapped one of them with a mini. Um, I don't even know how that's possible, because we said like three of them were peaking, and like, he's just built like that. So he cleaned one of them up and got the entry, and then he microed exactly where we should pull up. He said, pull up on Orange Pink. Um, and that was kind of like deep right, on the right side of Howe's Ridge. So we had this nice pull up formation, and Howe was just in shambles. One of them got in the car and started trying to drive away to leave. I run over the ridge, I knock that guy out of the car, and then I knocked another one proning. They were just kind of like a... I almost feel like the way that we pulled up on them was so high energy and just confident that they just had no idea what to do for a second. Honestly, in this entire late game, I think Shrimzy basically IGL'd the whole thing. After we killed Hal, he said we have a rock here to save cars on, pulled up on the rock, smoked the cars. He marked a future rocking zone, like a deeper one, and said we need to go here. He threw his smokes towards that, and then told us all to pull up on the next rock, so we all did that. Uh, honestly, it's a big brain plays from Shrimzy. I just made a heads up play here. So once we're on the rock and we've secured the the position and we're getting ready to fight the compound team, I realized that if we were all stacked on top of the rock, it would probably be a, a really easy for them to throw utility at us. Uh, so I backed the UAZ up and I jumped out of it and left the handbrake off so it rolled away from the rock, maybe like 15 meters. And then I prone crawled up to the UAZ just to have a different angle than the rock. Um, that actually ended up being really, really good later because they used two or three blue zone grenades on it or something. Uh, I got pretty lucky here to open up the fight on the Weibo as well. Uh, one of them was just wide peeking the roof of the compound, so while Cerberus and New Happy were all fighting each other, I just got to get a free knock on one of the players of Weibo. Um, and he was on a roof where you could not walk up a staircase uh, to res him, and he was not in zone. He was just in a completely unresable position, so I think that's a bit of a blunder on his behalf, but it uh, meant that it was a 4v3 in the in the late game instead of a 4v4, which is actually so much easier to win. As soon as you have a numbers advantage, it's just easier to peek and play confident. Having a dragon orb, I obviously have the advantage in the late game. It's very easy for me to uh, one-tap anyone peeking. I guess, I think I think we might have had two or three dragon orbs on our team at this point in time, so we're all just peeking very aggressively. I have the off angle on the UAZ. My teammate calls one of them on the roof, and uh, I end up just being able to one-tap him with a nice little quick peek, and then his teammate, who we knew was on the rock as well, um, we just want that film as well. Thank you for watching Inside of View with View Sonic, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, dude. But you should test. Test? You should test. Right, right this, right here. That pose though. Pull. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I like that. This is hard. Okay, oh. hold up. Let's get a table. Like that pose, Let's Wait, get it. My oh no, he's. What? Oh, thank you. Okay. Another, one. Another, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? Oh, what the he f? Killed you. He killed you. <laughs> yes, I killed you. You ki killed can ride the best? You, you killed by best. Yeah. Yeah, killed by the best? Yes. <laughs> I died to the best? Yes. Man. No, there's no way. Yeah, the first day you okay. live in. Yeah. Yeah, it's a boost. Why are you laughing at me? Hey. Why are you looking at me and laughing? Hey, you're just funny looking. Something, I, I know. Obviously, we have a chance to win for a reason. When we listen to comms, they're pretty good. Obviously, we had some times where we were a little too anxious. This is just a normal day of PUBG for us. Like, I mean, we're in this spot for a reason. So keep that in mind. Don't, don't be going crazy and don't focus on the leaderboard. Just focus on the game. Make sure, make sure we're trading. Make sure we're calling for trades. And, that was something about balls. Make sure we're trading, make sure we're playing as a pack, keep that pack mentality. Every compound we're in, if we have time, talk about crash defense, talk about how we're gonna back it up, what compounds we're gonna hold, what's prior to hold, how we're gonna leave, make sure we park our cars ready to leave, and make sure we're parking our cars so not to get popped so we can leave if we get crashed. Finish this day strong and we'll be up there on stage holding that trophy. Good luck, boys. You don't need it, but I'll say it anyway. You guys are f***ing insane, we know it, you guys know it, whatever happens, you guys are insane, we all know it, but 
Thank you for the competition, Elise. You guys try. You guys make us better. I'm probably gonna try to push us. Oh, and what's high left? Yeah, I'm channeling high left. They're all. Who in the smoke between us? The one by my ridge. NT, NT. Damn, they had all the space, boys. NT. We're calling everything we're shooting at, and then come time for the infight, we're trying to like piece it back together. Like, we, we, we never would have known or never knew who was next to us. Or who was up. That's, that's fine. I'm just saying, right now for me, there's a lot of input coming in my ear, and it's it's hard for me to even understand. Like, yeah, we can I'll, just chill out a little bit. I'll simplify it for you. Just that don't game? talk as fast. If yeah. you just talk slower, you're going to naturally be more calm. Utility is uh, in the process, but 17 also pretty low. Show going to get flushed out by Tycon. And now Show, actually 17, they've got that wall, but they've got the blue collapsing on them. Look at Cerberus. They spread out like a fist as they clasp on top of 17. And just like that, Cerberus have all of a sudden surrounded 17. What an amazing play. That was so intelligent. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I think everybody's ugh right now other than Cerberus. Wait, Navi are right there. Batoon's just yeah. staring at us and smiling. He, yeah, we're all just standing on stage waiting, waiting to leave. Like... And he just... Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, it was retarded. Well, I, I said, I, I would when like to say, say this to me. I said, I've never experienced a second place. When did he say that but, and where was that? But I also said, I'd rather win the, the last event. Let's did walk in, won. or we ain't getting second, okay. But also, never say that again. If Para wins this last game and we come fifth, <laughs> I will shave my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> did you record that? Did you get it on camera? Alright. Uh, uh, I'm, oh. I'm, oh. I'm, oh. I'm feeding Para. I'm feeding Para. There's an AK. Yeah, nice. Oh, there's a guy close. On the red. Watch out. If you die, you should give the kill to Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> I think you honestly. Yeah. Just give the kill to Tucson. Just walk. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, I got an Ox for it. Good job, guys. We got hey. second, right? You guys got fourth. No, you got second. <laughs> you got second. You got second. I know. I actually. I am a piece of sh I'm gonna keep it real chief. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap you in the face because you didn't win the f***ing tournament. Alright, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys after. Is it 12 inches actually? Oh, yeah. Sonic's this photo. There's no way. <laughs> is it? Did you see? No. Alright, that's not it. Nah, no, what is yeah. that? Yeah. This is manifesting the wrong f***ing chief. I'm good at manifesting. You see, I call wins. I'm really good at calling wins. Yeah, that's the problem. Why are you manifesting first, Chief? <laughs> I was like, this is TSN. We're probably about to be homies. And he just, he's like landing for the U.S. Yeah, hospital flag. <laughs> Listen, you got second. You got second. Right, he can have it. I have a coupe. And then he just veers off and lands on the roof. And I'm like, this muff is mother bro. Violin. He was the first one dead. Hmm? He was the first one dead in the yeah. whole game. But we didn't know it was you. We said, we just need that. We need a little bit of points. He's first dead instantly. We said, no, you all actually, right. Low key, you did save us though, because Navi died, Twist died.